This special feature of Game Masters Hall is sponsored by Monty Cook Games. Hi everybody, I'm Eric Campbell here at Game Masters Hall. Today we're gonna to be talking to Darcy Ross about your best game ever, so stay tuned. Hi Darcy, welcome back to the show. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's good to be here. Um, so you're here to talk to us today about your best game ever, and I have been really wanting to get everybody on board to find out what this is, so mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what the book is. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. It is um, a book about tools and advice and resources for both uh, players and GMs of uh, tabletop role-playing games of all sorts. Um, for you know beginning players and experienced players, there's gonna be a ton of really actionable advice in here from a lot of really cool people. And it's not just tips either, because right. I, I heard there's actually recipes in this book. Oh yeah, uh, Shauna Germain has been working very hard on some fabulous cocktails and mocktails and strange things that are also easy to have at the game table. <laughs> so it's gonna be a, a wild time. <laughs> The book is literally how to build your best gaming experience at the table. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think we all have those experiences where you know you have a game night that people remember forever, right? Mm -hmm. And and you have lots of perfectly great gaming also, but you have those high points. And I think this book is really about how to have a lot of resources to take your game more often to those high points. Right, and it's got a lot of contributors that yes. are known in the RPG space. Yeah. Do you, can you name a few people who might be contributing <laughs> to this? Uh-huh. Yeah. Is that a leading question? Um, <laughs> it's kind of a leading question. So uh, let's see, Matt Colville is going to be contributing, uh, Matthew Mercer, mm -hmm. we have uh, Tanya DePass who runs I Need Diverse Games. Yeah. Uh, goodness, we have a whole litany of great um, thinkers and writers and designers um, who are consulting experts on this. Mm -hmm. And also some uh, folks who make comics are going to be drawing comics in it. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we yeah. have um, the, goodness, the uh, Dork Tower. Uh, nice. Yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah, have yeah. them in it. And Dean Doggos. Uh, very, very good uh, contributors. I'm so excited about Matt Colville writing for this book. I really, like, every time that dude opens his mouth, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I gain a level. <laughs> I'm just like, every time he has any kind of advice to disperse, it's like, it, and, and I've had conversations with Mercer, too, where we're just like, dude, we just want to hear Colville talk. Yeah. That's so exciting. And so the the array of, of contributions that are made by yeah. the writers and whatnot, everyone is basically going to be talking about, because a, a, as a contributor myself, mm -hmm. we're basically just going to be talking about what we bring to the table and what we personally feel yeah. like helps create your best game. So you're getting an array of opinions and thoughts yes. about this. Right, because it's such a, you know, it's a it's an ambitious topic, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you how do you serve all kinds of games, all kinds of, of gamers? And the only way to do it is to bring in a lot of different minds. And uh, and so I think anybody who's going to pick this up is going to find something really that they resonate with, right? Because they might fall under the uh, Eric Campbell camp or they might fall, on, you know, mm -hmm. they might find something that resonates with someone else. So I, I'm really excited to bring that all in one big book. Yeah. I'm really excited to hear what people's thoughts are because it, it's not a divided camp or anything. It's not like it's not like PC versus right. console, but I do hear a lot of people talk about theater of the mind versus right. like miniatures. Mm -hmm. um, um, I've had a lot of conversations with that with fellow GMs. Mm -hmm. um, no one, no one. I, I don't yeah. know anybody who particularly has a preference, but everyone does seem to have like thoughts on why one is better than the other yes. at certain circumstances. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's really it's gonna be really interesting to find out what everyone thinks about that. But I also. One of the things that I like about this, it, the, the, the thing that really captured me was that there was going to be recipes in the book. And that's what kind of opened the door to me realizing that the whole book is about how to set up a game night and yeah. generate the best possible gaming experience right. for your group. So you would would you say that this is a pretty good book for a beginner to pick up? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it. I love that it's not going to assume knowledge about a lot of different things because gaming is kind of a weird social experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's there's a lot of social engineering that goes on, right? We're we're friends. We're engaging in this collaborative storytelling together. Uh, we're negotiating at the table, right? right? There's a lot going into it that. Um, doesn't that exists beyond just the rule set? And so I think this book is going to, you know, if you're nervous about running your first game, I think this is going to be oh, such a such a godsend. Um, yeah. I'm really ex I, I wish it had existed when I was uh, shaking running my first game. Oh. You know, trying to <laughs> yeah backwards. Uh, and and for people who, you know, now they're streaming, which is really nice. So you yeah. get to see examples of great games. Um, and I think this, but I think. There's a bit of a jump, right? Like if I'm run, running or playing my first game and I'm watching a lot of great streamed games, how do I get there? Is like a it, it's yeah. a scary chasm that has many many steps to to get there, right? That it's a solvable problem. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's another. So one of the reasons why I was really excited about this book mm -hmm. when when Monty gave me heads up that he wanted to do this book was. Um, 
being a GM on Geek and Sundry, right, and and having conversations with other GMs like Colville and mm-hmm. Mercer and Ivan, like we we have all had conversations about how sometimes watching these games be streamed on Twitch, mm-hmm. um, they 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 encourage people to come out and role play. But we've also seen a flip side to that where people get a little intimidated because they yeah. think that they need to run a game the way we're running games, right, and. We're, we're constantly pushing back on that and yeah. being like, no, 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 no. This is not the way it's done. This yeah. is the way we do it. Right. Um, and it's and, and one of the things that I loved about the idea of this book coming out is it mm-hmm. seems to underline the fact that your best game ever is very up to you. Yeah, like, it's personalized. You, it's... Yeah, you don't have to be... Yeah. And, and Mercer's told me this a million times. Like, you don't... Please do not try to emulate that. Find what works for you. Yeah. And I've had that conversations across the board and across the spectrum. Satine and I have had huge mm-hmm. conversations about how... We, we we are constantly encouraging people to to have their own best game. Yeah. Yeah. And That's so th- this this seems like the perfect vehicle to sort of help people realize and kind of find how that works. Yeah. And one thing I like about it too is that it acknowledges that it's not just, you know, we think about these uh, star GMs, right? These excellent GMs uh, who a lot of people look up to, but there's so much about uh, role-playing game craft that mm-hmm. that is that is on the players end too and getting right. to bring that out and flourish it uh, as as a, as a fellow player how do you how can you be the best like co-player with mm-hmm. each other is kind of a, a neat topic that's in there um, and one that I think about a lot uh, and you know we all have room for improvement we all have stuff we, we could definitely it's part of the the joy of role-playing games too though right is there's a, such a diversity of experiences to have um, there's different tools to help you have those different experiences. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's it acknowledges the diversity and the plurality of great right. gaming we can have. I see Reddit posts and I see Twitter conversations all the mm. time on things like, hey, there was a lot of tension at our table tonight. Right. Like someone someone didn't like a ruling the yes. GM made or maybe the maybe the maybe the GM actually got a ruling wrong and right. stuck to their guns and like there was some upset and yeah. stuff like that. So it. It's great that there's actually finally there's a book that's going to be coming out to be talking about how to keep the cohesion and yeah. like the fellowship essentially at the table. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and I love it that it's it's not just don't have conflict, right? right? It's not how how to ensure conflict never happens. It'll come up. What I like about this book is that Monty really, you know, we think a lot about uh, the different kinds of social. Um, personas that people have, the different kinds of social anxieties that we all have. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's one thing to say. Well, you know, uh, be a good player, don't have conflict. Be a good be a good and welcoming GM. Mm-hmm. Okay, but how do I do that? So one of the things that's in here is is like almost uh, ideas for how you would bring up some of these tender topics, right? Mm-hmm. Like here's a sentence that you could do that should make your player not feel defensive or have your GM not feel defensive. Mm-hmm. There's just the the level of actionability here. I think is really going to help people make those jumps to those uh, harder steps of gaming. So they can usually find you at montycookgames.com, but yeah. for this one, they can find at yourbestgameever.com. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. That's where we'll be uh, showing you where you can get all these cool uh, different formats of the book and uh, and can sort of, you know, we when we uh, kickstarted the book itself, we also released a, a, a we uh, dreamed up a revised cipher system rule book to sort of go along with this. So we've got lots of good cipher system stuff tied into the ethos of your best game ever and some of the tools that are in that book. I'm so. super excited about that. And I'm just going to add this. <laughs> the Stars of Fire. Yeah. I'm super looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. It's sci-fi cipher. I'm super looking forward to that. I'm just crazy looking forward to that. Yeah, and it's going to be, you know, it, just like your best game ever, it's going to have a section on, you know, advice and tips and tools for running, uh, you know, hard sci-fi uh, as a genre, in mm. addition to having a cool setting for Bruce Cordell and all that other goodness. Thank you so much for coming and talking to us yeah. about this, Darcy. Thanks for being a contributor. Yeah, oh, you're welcome. I'm rather flattered that I was asked. <laughs> I'm like, I can walk around and be like, yes, Monty Cook asked me to write something. <laughs> I'm kind of cool. <sighs> Not really. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming into Game Masters Hall, and we will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Stay whimsical. Yeah.